Do anybody know what's the difference between hunger and appetite? Hunger is when you when you have a drive for something, a desire to need something, to survive for life, to live it. it. Does not mean you accomplish your dreams. It just means you have a desire to live life to the full. Appetite is soul driven. If you change your appetite, you can change your hunger. You see what I'm saying? Because hunger is based on, like you said before, need. Appetite has to do with desire. Another word for appetite is desire. Yep. So that that comes from your soul. That comes from your 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 will, your mind, emotions, your intellect. Um, and you can change that. Yeah. You can. It's really driven by your appetite. Changing a person's life or changing the community before we change their hunger or before we can meet the hunger, the need of the hungry, we got to change the appetite. Self-esteem, you know what happens? They start changing. And then they start wanting to change the around. Our responsibilities is, is that we don't have to necessarily come out. You see a lot of energy. Change the desire. Change the desire and the appetite of a person. If they want it, so that their outcome can change. Yeah. So what, what is the difference? You gotta change what the, the input, you gotta change the appetite. You gotta change the appetite because when you change your, a person's appetite, you change a person's desire. You really can't change a person's appetite or a person's desire. Yeah. They have to the want, they have to, they have to be a willing participant. We gotta get out here and get on the streets and start really doing what Jesus said to do. And it's not just to, it's not just to get people to go to heaven, but it's also, because that's one thing that I think to that live we, better. To live better. To live better. The whole piece of change is when you can fulfill your life legacy, your life understanding, your life value. You can then be an example for others that help build them up, continue it throughout generations and generations to come. That's the goal. That's our ultimate goal. Inspire hope, desire, will. You know, just, just. So when we talk, we're not in disagreement with one another. Not at all. We're in agreement with one another. But what I want to say on the other side of it is, is our appetite. They listen. They wanted that. They, they, the appetite of America says that an African American man is more likely to go into crime yep. or Violet. basketball or football more than any other thing that they would have something to be known for. Yeah. Or a counselor. Mm -hmm. Or what they say, well, you can't make money. Well, I say, when you say that, there's, there's a lack of creativity that's going on in your brain. Listen, community you can is about bringing people together in this community to make their community better. So we're, we're, we're aiding, we're empowering, we're strengthening, we're doing everything that we possibly can. It might look impossible at the particular time, but it can be done. It can be done. Father, we lift up our eyes towards the mountains from which our help comes from. Our help comes from you. You are the maker of heaven and earth. You will not allow us to slip, our, our feet to slip, your protection, you are our protector and you will not slumber. Indeed, you, the protector of Columbus Park, does not slumber nor sleep. Lord, you protect us. Lord, you are our shelter on our right, on our right, by our side. The sun will not strike us by day nor moon by night. Lord, you will protect us from all harm and you will protect our lives. Lord, you protect our coming in and going out. We just thank you, Lord, for those words that we just spoke. Psalms 121 over this area. We thank you, Lord, for protection. Speak over the area right now. Jesus. And we give you praise. Now, angels, we release you in the Columbus Park area based on Psalms 21 to help and to protect people that are crying out in Jesus' name.